We expect 2015 to be a somewhat stronger year for the global economy with an acceleration in global growth from about 3% over the last three years to about 3.5%. And going through the major regions, the United States, we think, is still going to grow at about 3, which is basically the acceleration that we've seen in the course of 2014. We think that's going to be maintained in 2015. The reason is that we have now arrived at a pretty strong recovery across all the major areas of private domestic demand. The consumer is looking pretty good. Home building, we think, still has quite a bit of upside. And capital spending has also settled into a nice groove. I think the main challenge that people come up with against that optimistic view is probably spillovers from the appreciation of the dollar and some of the weaker global growth numbers. But we think that while those are kind of marginal negatives, they're basically offset by the fact that in the course of all this, oil prices also came down quite a bit, and that's an important positive for growth. Outside the US, if you go to Japan and you go to Europe, there is a slower growth trend and there are a lot more challenges, especially Europe is still at an earlier stage of the sort of post-bubble, post-crisis adjustment. And we expect lower growth numbers only in the 1% range, maybe sequentially a little more than that, uh, but uh, you know, clearly a lot less than, than, than in the US. But we're also expecting, even in those places, we're expecting somewhat better numbers than the fairly dismal last couple of quarters, uh, because we are seeing some positive impulses in Europe and Japan. Currency depreciation is probably going to help somewhat. The drop in oil prices is going to help. In Japan, we think the decision to postpone the second stage of the consumption tax increase to 2017 was, uh, was a good decision, uh, and we think that's, uh, that's going to help. As you go outside the developed market economies into the emerging world, I think there it's really a pretty mixed picture. There are very different developments in different places. Uh, the commodity producers are going to have a tougher time with the drop in commodity prices that we think and our commodity strategy team thinks is going to be sustained, uh, whereas the commodity importers are going to benefit. Uh, that's one important divide. Uh, and then there are a lot of country-specific things uh, going, going on. One place that, of course, as many people, we are very focused on is what's going on in China, where our expectation is further deceleration in growth probably it's still lasting several years of declining growth rates. We're not looking for a, a really sharp uh, deceleration. We do think the authorities still have the ability to, to manage the, the slowdown, but we are concerned uh, about potentially a lengthier period of weaker activity, given that the imbalances, both in the housing market and in terms of credit extension, are still pretty sizable. So overall, our expectation is a better year for 2015 for the global economy, although there is quite a lot of divergence between uh, the places that are performing very well. The United States would be uh, probably at the top of the list there and other places that still have more problems, uh, including, of course, the euro area, even if you do get some acceleration in growth and some parts of the emerging world where we're more worried about the downside.